I think the map that we followed led us to a wrong des destination. <laughs> Gio and I have been wanting to produce a video together for quite some time. Unfortunately, we've never actually been able to do it. Well, till now. The main question would be obviously, to go out of town, what would be better, a car or a bike? It's just that we've been cooped up inside the city for far too long, and I figure a nice leisurely drive to get some fresh air would do us both some good. And if I happen to get there a hell of a lot earlier than he does, well, it will prove once and for all that Gino well, is wrong. Now, my steed for today is a 2022 Isuzu D-Max. It's got a three liter blue power diesel, 187 horses, 450 newton meters of torque, diesel engine, automatic transmission, and cruise control. And even though this thing is not as comfortable as it may sound on the highway, it's still a hell of a lot more comfortable than that. So, what have you brought here today? This? is the Yamaha Tenere 700. You sure you're tall enough to ride this? Absolutely. It's my bike. Oh, it's yours? Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's the plan. We've been inside the city for far too long, and I just thought getting out of town, getting a little bit of fresh air would do us some good. Okay. Okay, and the thing is, is that the one question that we always have is which is better, cars or bike? And I'm gonna prove to you once and for all that a car <laughs> is definitely better when you're going out of town. The destination is Mabini, how's about that? I found a nice little place. It's got, a, it's an all flat area. Um, it's got great views of a fish pond. I know you're gonna need fuel, so let's fuel up at a shell. Yeah. I'm gonna send you the details. And the thing is, is that what I wanna bet is lunch, and not just lunch for a day. I'm talking about lunch for a week. So our first stop is going to be Shell Hacienda near Tagaytay. From there, we're going to be taking two different routes. Gino is going to be on his bike taking a shorter route, which is about 85 kilometers to get to the end point. He's going to be on a shorter route and he's going to be taking the right side of Taal Volcano. I'm going to be on the left side of Taal Volcano. It's a little bit longer, but then I'm going to be on the highway more often than not. So I think this actually should provide for a pretty good and even race. I'm sitting on a diesel engine. Gino is sitting on a gasoline engine. Heaven for, yes, I get it that he's got only two wheels and he's probably gonna get there a lot sooner. But the thing is, there's a good chance that he won't be able to do it on just one full tank, which is only 15 liters. I've got like three times that inside this automobile. And considering that it's a diesel, this thing is thrifty like a mother. There's a good chance that I'm gonna be able to do this back and forth on one fuel load. Gino, however, is going to have to stop. Sure, he's gonna have more fun driving the bike in and out of traffic, he's gonna get there a lot sooner, but eventually, he's gonna need to load fuel. Okay, so I kind of left a little later than Kako, just cause we had a pit stop that took, well, a little longer than expected. But I should make up some time when we get closer. So I'm taking Kalax till the end, and that would bring me to Silang Cavite, where the Shell gas station is. I don't know where Kako passed. He said that he was gonna take Santa Rosa, which would be wrong, uh, but I'm not gonna tell him that. I wanna get there first. Okay, so this is a bit worrisome because now, to I guess beat traffic, we're on back roads. And the back roads is actually what scares me because this gives Gino a lot of opportunity to be able to catch up. Okay, I got good news and some really good news. Number one is that I'm already on Aguinaldo Highway and Shell should be coming up really, really soon. Number two is that it's raining, which means Gina is going to be in a really foul mood. Where is Shell? Where is Shell? I think I see it. I think I see it. I think I see it. Is he here? 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 
He's not here. <laughs> Sucker! Hello? Hey, man, I can't wait on you the whole day. Where are you? Shut up. Shut up. How long have you been there? Dude, I've been here for at least 30 minutes. That's bullshit. I'm not kidding. I've had something to eat. I've had something to drink. I went to the bathroom. Isuzu actually has a partnership with Shell, which is that anytime you buy or when you buy their product, and I'm talking about either a D-Max or an MUX or MUX, depending on how you say it, or you can get yourself an Isuzu commercial truck, any purchase that you make of their products comes with a Shell Go Plus card. Now this Go Plus card, if you don't already know, well, you can take it with you every time you fuel up and you earn points. And those points, you can get it from either filling up with fuel or getting lubricants or buying snacks at the Select. You're good, right? You are good? Mean? All right, I'll see you there. Are you leaving now? Wait, you have to wait for me. He's cheating already. Okay, so now the real race begins because we just left Shell, or rather I just left Shell and I'm about five minutes ahead of Gino. The thing though is, is that he's only got about 85 kilometers to our destination. I am traveling 115 kilometers to our destination. Now, he's obviously gonna be on a bit slower pace, skinnier roads, but he's gonna be on a motorcycle so he can weave in and out of traffic. I need to stick to the speed limit, which I'm going to, because the last thing I want to do is pay for another ticket. Han. Yeah. You're kidding me. No, I'm... Oh my God, you're a So I'm going to be sticking to the speed limit of a maximum of 100 kilometers per hour. So it'll take me about an hour and a half, I'm guessing, to get there. How long it's going to take Gino, I'm not sure. But you know, who knows? This weather is playing nicely into my hands because it's kind of rainy, it's kind of dark, which means Gino may have to slow down, whereas I can just stay on cruise control the entire time and really have a pleasant drive. I did, did have one ace up my sleeve, which was fuel consumption. But now that Gino is fully fueled, that means he can make it to our destination without any issues whatsoever. I actually didn't even have to fuel up because well, the D-Max is just so completely fuel efficient. I mean, I've already traveled, what, 20, 30 kilometers and the needle hasn't even moved. And I've got something like 865 kilometers left until I need to fuel up again. And that's probably gonna increase as I get on the highway and stretch its legs. So, that was my ace. Now I don't know. Now I'm kind of hoping that he hits traffic because, well, it's a weekday. It is the pandemic, yes, yeah, sure. But, you know, people are starting to get out there. Cars are starting to populate the road. So are motorcycles and tricycles and people crossing the street, which hopefully will slow Gina down a little bit. Haha, -ha. finally, S-Lex. I gotta tell you something about the D-Max, man. Um, sure, the ride is definitely robust, especially on the start tollway because it's not the smoothest of surfaces. Yeah. Especially if you're on the right lane. But I gotta tell you, the interior, it's just such a, a great leap from the previous generation. And I'm sure I've said this before in our review. And if you haven't seen that review, by the way, click right here. I wouldn't necessarily take a pickup truck out of town as my first choice. But inside the D-Max, well, it, this just proves that you can. Because whether it's a rough ride or not, the comfort inside is actually pretty darn good. Here we go. I don't know where I am exactly. But I think I'm in Taal Town, or at least kind of near it. Not exactly sure, and I just hope the map doesn't get me lost. I have to say though, this is a nice ride. I'm glad the weather held up, and this is something that I would do again. I totally would ride this again. On a bike, you really appreciate your surroundings more. Your senses are heightened. You feel alive and free. In a car, you kind of are just waiting to get to the destination. It's just not as fun. Now, I don't know if I'm going to win this, but I know for sure 
I'm gonna have more fun than cockle. I mean, look at the view. Hello? Okay, I just got off the Star Tollway. I'm inside Batangas. Why do you have an accent? That's a good question. I have no idea. It's because I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling good about my chances. Really? Yeah, why? What does it say on your map? How many minutes away are you on your map? Well, my map at the moment says can't connect, but as the last time I checked, I should be about maybe about 30 minutes away. Okay. What about you? All right, all right. I'm about 40 minutes away, but let's see. Let's see if I can wait a couple more minutes here. <laughs> I got you, man. I got you. Well, if you realize, if we hit a little bit of traffic, you're done, right? Okay, so this is what I'm a bit afraid of. Now that we're inside the town proper, I'm hitting traffic. Uh, this is allowing Gina to catch up. Although, by our calculation, I'm about 10 minutes ahead. I don't know if that 10 minutes is enough to pull me over the finish line and get there ahead of him. Because now that I'm slowing down, yeah, he's probably gonna start catching up. All right, I hope this was the right choice. I decided to go with Jack's map instead of mine. Hopefully it gets us there. I think I'm ahead of Kako by at this point. I don't know, or maybe not ahead of him, but I think we're pretty much um, close to each other. And on this bike, I'm pretty sure I can catch up with him if he is ahead. If he's behind me, I think we can create further distance. I think I can get a, a little bit of a lead right now. All right, so we reached Gulugut Baboy parking lot, which it says right there, the signage. But I think it's the wrong one because the water is right there. That's Anilao. And we're supposed to be in a mountain, hilly area, and this is not it. So I am, I'm trying to call Kako, but the signal is pretty bad, so hopefully I get through. Yes. Um, I think the map that we followed led us to the wrong des destination. Because we're here, we're at the Gulogan Baboy parking lot, but I don't know if it's the right one. You're there already? Yeah, but I don't know if it's the right one. Oh man, no, you don't, but you don't know if it's the right one. I don't one. know because it, it's by the water. It's not by the hill. Oh, you might be in the wrong area, dude. Right, I mean, you said Gulogan Baboy Parking, and that's where we are. Gulug, I, there's a signage behind me. It says Gulogan Baboy Parking. I sent you the map, dude. Well, I followed Jack's map, and I think it led us to the wrong spot. <laughs> that means I'm in the lead. All right, uh, we're in the wrong spot. We're gonna go now. <laughs> shut up! Shut up! Come on, get there! Get there! Get there! Get there! Get there! Get there. Okay, now I know I'm on the right side because this is uphill. Uphill is good. Good. Very good. Wait, I think we're getting close. I think this is it. I think we're getting close. Now this has to be it. This has to be it, but where's Kako? I bet you he hit the car at some place, but I don't see it. Where is the Isuzu? Where is he? All right, so apparently the real finish line is up there. It's a little bit of a hike. I have a little bit of a bum ankle, but I'm about 20 minutes ahead of Kako, so I can actually just take it easy and get there in one piece. Did I just hear Kako arrive? He's, yeah. he's there? Yep. Kako, wait, 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 wait! Other way, other way! Ah! <laughs> 
Loser! How the hell? You know, that's just the way it is, man. But uh, you only you only travel 84 kilometers, man. Hey, you were freeway the entire way. I was in the Bayan. I had to encounter traffic. I had to. I got lost. And, I got lost too. Well, I mean, whatever. I'm just a winner. You're not. Okay, so here's what I think. I think this race. It wasn't really a race. No, 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 it was a race. No, 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 you don't understand. It was like a test. No, no, no. For things to come. No, 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 no. So this was sort of like a, you know, it's just for, for giggles. No, 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 no. You can't. No, 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 Look, You can't expect me to think. It was, first of all, it was your idea, number one. Number two, you gave me the route that I was supposed to go on. I just followed the whole way. I followed your rules and I still ended up winning. Okay. I do feel bad. No, 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 scratch that. I don't feel bad. I feel good. But I do have something for you. Because huh? we did get lost and we had a couple of stops. I figured, hey, win or lose, looks like you could use this. Yeah. But do you have a bottle opener? Because I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a key. I got a key. All right, can you open this too then? You want me to do your bidding too? <laughs> hey, man, you lost. At least your keys can open beer. Ah, shut up. <laughs> Cheers, man. So can I order, like, whatever for food for lunch? You know this is an overrate. Mm. Mm. Sure. <laughs>